Okay guys, so uh, here we are and we have uh, one of the first bodyguards for the iPhone 4 off to production line. So I want to thank uh, our friends over at Bodyguards for sending this out. And uh, I'm really curious to see how this works because um, as you know the iPhone 4 is flat as opposed to the concave um, curvatures of the iPhone 3G and 3GS. So I'm curious as to see um, how this goes on because I know that with uh, the skins on the back of the iPhone 3G and 3GS, there is always a little bit of a challenge. So um, we're gonna get right to it, and uh, we're gonna show you what is in the package. And of course, as you know, Bodyguards gives you two full body protectors. Okay, so there's the back, there's another back, and there's a front. Okay, so we've got a uh, back and a front, okay. and we have our solution, of course. Let's take our solution out of the box and we have our squeegee. Okay, so let's get everything in frame here, guys. Okay, and I'm gonna move this camera just a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, we're gonna zoom in a bit on the phone here. It is a little bit of a different angle for me, guys, so bear with me a little bit. So we're gonna open up our solution. Okay, and we've got our Squeegee. Now I've cleaned this really good with a uh, you know a cleaner. You know I'm finishing up a bottle of Eye Clear, so I use that. So we're gonna clean the front again with a nice microfiber lint-free cloth. Okay, I think I'm pretty good there. And what seems a little odd, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, let's see if we can get it to focus on that. There's no front cutout for the front camera hole, but the, uh, the, the opening for the earpiece is rather large. So I'm wondering if it's gonna go all the way across that. So what we first do is we first spray our fingertips. First we gotta kinda prime the pump there. Spray our fingertips with the solution. And then we will take off the front body guards. Okay, so we're gonna take this off and we're gonna put the bodyguards face up. Okay, and then we're gonna shoot it with some solution. One, two, three, four, five. That should do the trick. One for good measure. Okay, of course guys, always turn off your device. Okay, you should probably turn off your device before you uh, clean the screen because now I have to make sure that the screen is clean, which I believe it is. Okay, and we're gonna lay this down right over the home button. And line it up with the sides. Okay, so the front is done, and as you guys can see, you know, there is, it is pretty cloudy, okay, and that's normal. Now, uh, if you saw our iPad, um, our iPad install for the bodyguards, it was pretty cloudy too, okay? Okay, it looks pretty good. So now, let's move on to the back, okay? We're gonna clean the back one more time. Now the back was always the problem child on the 3G and the 3GS guys because uh, as you know it was concave so that was always the problem there was the, that concave area. Okay so we're going to get the back okay, and we've got our solution and this one should be a little bit easier because we have the uh, camera hole to line up and that's the only hole so what we're going to do is we're going to take our solution and we're going to spray our bodyguards and we're gonna line that up right there so we're gonna line it up that looks pretty good
Okay, so that's the back. So now we've got the front and the back. Uh, like I said, I'm at a different angle. As you can see, that's cloudy too. So we'll come back and we'll give you a, a little, uh, kind of a little look after it's been a couple of days. Okay, so that's going to be 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so there we go. We've got the front done. We've got the back done. Now, Bodyguards does give you the sides. Now, the sides on the iPad, you did not need the solution. Okay, but according to Bodyguards, on the uh, iPhone, you do need the solution. Yeah, that's going to be the top. So that one is going to go right there. So let's uh, take this one off. So that little tiny one's going to be the top. Now, I don't know how much solution you really need on this guy, so I'm not... Not gonna put much, just gonna kind of mist it a little bit. Because this is so tiny and it is so thin, the bodyguards there, that it's really hard to get it lined up right without the uh, bodyguards overlapping the dock connector. So you see how it's overlapping the dock connector there? I probably would have just scrapped this in the middle and put it here and there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. There we go, and like I said, I'll have to trim that one a little bit. But again, if you're having reception problems, it's probably good that it goes over there. So guys, there you have it. There is the installation of the uh, bodyguards for the iPhone 4. Um, it took a little bit longer because, again, you need to do a, have a little finesse on these sides. Um, it is a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit challenging if you have uh, bigger fingers like I do. So guys, there you have it. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll zoom out a little bit. There you have it, and uh, we will come back in uh, 24 to 48 hours and show you how it clears up. Okay, guys, so here we are with our bodyguards, and we are about, um, I don't know, just over 48 hours um, after curing. We, you know, we put it on there, and you know, it kind of has some bubbles, or so, some, I shouldn't say bubbles, some cloudiness uh, for the first 24 to 48 hours, and it's just about all gone. As you can see, you can see just a little bit of cloudiness. It looks like it still needs to clear up a little bit, um, but it looks pretty good on the front and the back. Now, you guys see these little dots that go down the side there? I was uh, rocking this with the uh, Dexum case that we gave out, so those are the little dots from the case. And then when you leave the case off for a while, those dimples come out. So just so you know, if you're gonna be rocking the bodyguards with the case, um, you, you will get those little dimples in there and then they come out but as you can see guys that looks really good on the back you can't tell that there's a bodyguards on there you can't tell that there's anything on there it is a little bit cloudy right there still okay but another day should should uh take care of that on the front it's a little bit cloudy in a couple of spots let's uh pull it up here but uh as you can see guys see on the edges a little bit but otherwise, it looks really, really good. See on the left-hand side there, there's a fingerprint. It's a little bit cloudy. Okay, but another day should take care of that. When you turn the screen on, though, boy, I mean, you really cannot tell that there's a bodyguards on there. And frankly, you know, the screen with the bodyguards looks better than the screen on the 3GS um, without the bodyguards. So there we have it, guys. Uh, the side... Here's the, here's the one thing. On the bottom, that bodyguard goes all the way across. It was really hard to get that little itty bitty piece on this metal here. And what I happened was it was kind of overlapping there. Frankly, I wish that bodyguards would just eliminate it, you know, cut it here and cut it there and just eliminate it or, or make the sides go all the way down to that speaker. And, uh, you know, it's probably the manufacturing process, you know, when they cut it, it gets put on that piece of paper. But frankly, guys, these two here, 
it's it's really a waste you really don't need it and frankly it's really hard to line it up really good and i found that my dock connector kept pushing a little piece of the body guards in there so i just took it off okay otherwise um again you can see here on this side okay that lines up really well in the top so guys there is a little bit of the body guards uh, this is again 48 hours and it looks really really good and great protection you know I have no worries about this screen now so guys that's the bodyguards uh, from NLU products for the iPhone 4 so uh, if you have any questions on this or any other products that we review um, send me an email it's Tom Moshe t-o-m-m-o-c-c-i-a at buymeaniphone.com make sure you follow us on twitter it's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone you can follow me personally on Twitter, twitter.com slash nerf squeezer. Okay. Oh, and join our Facebook page. It's buy me an iPhone. So guys, there you have it. There is the bodyguards for the iPhone four. So check it out. I think it's a, a really great product and uh, you know, it's, it's nice protection for your iPhone and it fits with most cases. Okay. I wouldn't put a slider case on it. Sometimes they get stuck with slider cases. So anyway, guys, hope this helped you out. And uh, as always have a great day.